With temperatures in the triple digits all across the country, we thought it was time to do a review on our new Magna Shade. Today we have removed the Magna Shade and now we're gonna pull down all the day shades. And we are starting off with a dash temp of 84 and that's with us just having removed the Magna Shade. We've got a lot of sun hitting the front of the RV today. So today should be a good test to see what our our sunshades inside can or cannot do for us. I'm just watching the thermometer go up as we've <laughs> taken off the Magna Shade. What I like best about these shades is the fact that I can still see outside. That was my priority. I hate feeling like I'm in a cave like we did when we were in the heat in Vegas when we had to keep the ship darkened basically <laughs> yeah. just to try to survive. Yeah, and what I like about them, sorry, there's some folks working next to us. What I like about them is there's no rivets attached to the front cap. They're, they're attached via magnets um, on the inside of the windshield. So it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. You put them up, you leave the magnets, and you're done. It's been 30 minutes, so we're going to actually move the thermostat on the inside of the sunshade now just to see what we're getting through the, the sunshade. But first, I'm going to temp the dash on this side. So it's saying that it's 92 degrees on this side of the sunscreen. So now let me raise this up, pull this, it is 112.8. We started at 84. In 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, 112. That's a lot of heat trapped that's beside a, that windshield. Yeah, that's a ton of heat and I can feel it standing here. I can feel it coming through and my Govee um, alerts on my phone kept going off because it exceeded my threshold for comfortable temps for when we're gone with gizmo in here. So automatically it's it's already coming down 111, 110. Uh, it says it's 76 in the room right now. We set it at 75 so we'll see when it cycles off because it hasn't cycled off since we started this a half hour ago. So we decided when we purchased our Magna Shade to get not only the front window but also three of the side windows where most of the heat comes into the RV. The front as you know in a, in a Class A motorhome this is where most of the heat comes in so you can see behind me uh, we've got it on the driver's side window and you can still see out. Now the cost for this I know you guys are all wondering <laughs> yeah. is not cheap but for me, I believe it's worth it. So the price for the front windshield was like, what, 630? 675. And then each of the side windows were between 175 and 225 based on the size. Yep. Now the benefit is this company actually cuts each one specifically to your window measurement. So they are custom to your RV. 30 minutes on the inside of the sunshade and we dropped to 90 degrees, 90.8. That's a significant drop from 112 with it on the other side of the shade to the dash side. So you can tell this is this is doing some work, but I can feel the heat up here, unlike with the Magna Shade. When you unbox your Magna Shade, it's going to come with everything you need to include these magnets. And I gotta tell you, these magnets here are pretty strong. So the white spacers in between um, really keep them apart from each other so they're easy to take off. If you don't have the spacer on it, they're really, really, I mean, they grab on pretty tight, uh, so. Ask us how we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have dexterity issues, this might be a, a bit of an issue, but it could also be a great workout. Or in the case of Phil, it could make sure your language is still very colorful <laughs> at times. Yeah, I did dust <laughs> off some sailor words. Um, oh, and thanks Bruce and Tim, who are a part of our crew that were hanging out with us that weekend. Bruce actually pulled out his camera and started videoing because, you know, at the time we were feeling lazy and we weren't planning to do a review. And we didn't know he was recording. So that was yeah, even he did a, surprise a, us. a better benefit. So if you can wait until you have two to three people to help you put it up, it'll speed things up. Um, you'll use less sailor words than I did. I guarantee it. All right, hold on. Hold the magnet. It'll only go to the side. It won't go up, up. All right, can this one go up? Where you at? Can this one go up any higher? I, it'll be underneath here and you can't get to it. Yeah. All right, come down here. Over more? Yes. It's all the way over. Okay. It actually sits really nicely yeah. when it's tight, doesn't it? Yep. And it's just all about getting that. 
getting the magnets in place in the right as place. far as, as wide and as high as you can go yeah. without, because then you got to take the back off, yeah. and stick it oh, yeah. to the it magnet. Permanent. Yeah, because if I pull that off, the magnets inside all fall. Mm -hmm. But it looks it looks good, huh? That looks really good. Stretched. It looks really good. The thing that surprised me, Phil, is from inside how much you can see out. Yeah. That and you that can't I wasn't see expecting. That much in now, and just no. imagine, so you can see from the side the light. But when we put yeah, that once those shades on, on you're done. These four magnets here obviously didn't stay on the window, and you can see the shades come with magnets already sewn into these little pockets, so the magnets attach to them. So it makes for hanging it pretty easy. So now I'm probably going to struggle to take these off. Actually, it's coming off pretty easy. And then I'll replace it with a new one. I'm going to clean this off just to make sure it sticks good. And of course, these are two-sided. So I'll put this one on. And then I'll repeat for the other three as well. I'm going to rehang the magnet shade where I think the magnet should go. So when we first did this, we put the magnets on the back and then we just set it up here to kind of fit the magnets to the, or the magnet shade to the window so that we got even coverage. And then we pulled the magnets off. All right, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do now. I'm gonna peel the back off of the two-sided 3M tape. And then I put this magnet up on the window, press it in nice and firm, give it some good pressure. And then I'm just gonna peel this one off. Now the deal is when you put these, when you first put the magnets on the window, um, you have to let them sit for 72 hours so that they cure without the weight of the magnet shade on it. So I'm doing that now. Wait. And then after 72 hours, you can hang them back up. And they should be good to go. Now these, on these side windows that are in, like the driver's side window that slides, the magnets are a little bit thicker to meet that gap in depth. So the temperatures are dropping quickly. Okay, yep. so n not as quick as I expected with my <laughs> non-scientific experiment here, but they have come down quite a bit. They have. We started out with 112 degrees behind our sunshade, the, the rig sunshade, uh, with nothing on the windshield. 112 degrees, and you could feel the heat standing here. Now we've put the magnet shade back up. We've got the temperature down to 87. The temperature outside is rising. It's uh, 92, 92. Yeah. outside, and it's stead steadily getting hotter. And we're at 87 on the dash. The ACs haven't cycled off yet, just because I think it's trying to it's, it's trying to catch up. It's catching up, yeah. Uh, but it's at 76. It's holding at 76, and we've set them at 75. So I'll say that, from my point of view, the magnet shade is well worth its weight in gold. We'll do this again because we never would have gotten that hot to begin with. Um, had oh there's a little hummingbird yep. <laughs> sorry we never would have got that hot to begin with and we would be lower right now if we'd started with the magnet shade from the very beginning right because it would have I mean it would have stopped that heat from coming in initially so we know we let in a lot of heat when we were when we were trying to figure out if the magnet shade was worth it or not which it is for in our opinion so we're just going to show you how simple it is to put up and down <laughs> yeah be prepared to laugh. <laughs> they would only be laughing if it was me jumping. So uh, we're going we're going to stand in the heat just for y'all. So obviously Phil does not have a problem taking it down. No. The only thing really is the windshield wiper blades. Super easy. Yeah, it comes off really nice. So you know, Phil, this drives him crazy because the magnets all stick together and he feels like it <laughs> turns into a big mess. He wants yeah. it to lay flat all the time. Yeah, this is because putting it back up or stowing it takes some time. You have to, you got to be careful with it. All right, so now we're going to show you a one-man 
um, mounting. I, that sounds really <laughs> whoa, horrible. <laughs> whoa, wait a minute now. We're gonna One show person you. putting it up, and yes. then I'll show... I'll help him out and we'll put it up again. Yeah, let's, let's go with the one person show. My pro tip is to order the second pole um, when you place your order. It does come with one, but you see here I have two poles, so I'll be able to pull it up. Um, this hopefully will make it easier to put it up with two poles because then you can just pop it up there, get it close to the well, magnets. Well, let's, let me let's just show just you. Let's just do it, yeah. Let me just show you. Uh, Hold on. I lost it in the sun. I know, the sun is super bright. Oh, the magnet. And the magnets are crazy strong. There it is. Boom. Oh, it looks like two is much easier than one. Yeah. So, magnet, boom. See, look at how it's just grabbing as you put it up. So the, using it in the sun, I can't see it. So they're up there. So this time I'm actually gonna use the pole with it open because the time before, when I was all alone, I couldn't get it to open. Okay. So grab the center one, there you go, or the end one closest to. All right, and up it goes. Come on. I'm folded, there it goes. Where's all it right. at? I don't know, go more, you go more that way. Um, go more one. to your way. Uh, there, there we go. go. All right. Now, All right. Now we can oh, fix it. Now we can flip it up. See, this is what I. All there right. we go. All right, so my work here is done. So now we go through and put my wipers out. Because uh, we need to hide all the sun, because it is still in triple digits at 5 p.m. It is a hot one. Before we go any further, I just want to say we are not affiliated with MagnaShade. We paid for our MagnaShade, and we aren't getting anything out of this review. This is just an honest review of us and what we think about the MagnaShade. So, so if you want to buy one, go ahead. If you don't, that's fine as well. <laughs> so what I thought I'd do today is show you how we are actually using our MagnaShade to the best benefit. You can see I have our day shade down on the front, and the MagnaShade is on the other side. Now, the other day at this time, let's see what the temp is really quick. Um, it was a couple of degrees cooler, and it was 112 in the center of these two shades. So let's see what it is today. It is 88 degrees instead of 112. So that is a huge difference. So I'm going to give it another 30 minutes, and we're going to see what the temperature is right here on the dash for an even comparison. But when it was 112 the other day, we didn't have the magna shade on. Correct. That's what I'm comparing yeah. the two. Yeah. yeah. So you can see with the magna shade, there's not nearly as much heat trapped in between the windshield and the first shade. All right, this is the very last part of our little non-scientific study that we have rolling here. So I removed the thermometer from in between the magna shade and the day shade, and the temperature has dropped significantly. So 30 minutes later, it is 84.1 degrees. And if you remember from yesterday, it was 90 degrees here on the dash without the magna shade. So that is a huge difference when we're talking numbers. So the dash is actually cooler than the outside temperature, which is not easy to do in with glass on the front of this uh, motorhome. Just like in a car, it heats up really fast. So I think it's definitely a win for us. And this is the first time in triple digits that we've ever had our EC cycle on and off throughout the day. Um, so for me, it's totally worth it. Now, if you're wondering what the Govi is, because we keep talking about that, that is actually what we use to um, keep an eye on the temperature in the RV when we're not here so we can keep Giz safe. And I'll link a video down below where you guys can get more info on that if you have um, pets. It does hook up to Wi-Fi and your cell phone. That's it for our Magna Shade. Our question for you is, what are you doing to stay as cool as possible while our country is breaking all kind of records all over the place? And don't state the obvious, like, get out of the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's tips are helpful as everybody reads the comments. So please drop on down in the comments and let us know what you're doing. In the meantime, I hope you received our newsletter today because we had some amazing news. And I'm worried if you didn't get the newsletter, you might be missing out because right. we have limited availability. So if you have not 
joined our newsletter yet, make sure you join. The link will be down below because you never know what's going to be happening and you need to go to the newsletter to figure it out. So yeah. We have a lot of stuff coming down the, the pipe for the remainder of this year and next year. That's right. And if you're in the newsletter, you get first dibs. Well, really, the Someday Crew gets first dibs yep. and then the newsletter because a lot of things we do now because we're so large, we have to limit our availability. So join the newsletter. We will see you next week for our live video and you'll get the news there. And I know now some of you are going, what's this insider crew? What's the Someday Crew? We have a huge gathering in that, community. I would say. Community. community. Yes. Yep. Um, so it has been thoroughly, thoroughly uh, enjoyable to do that and uh, I tell you what if you're you're looking for your RV community join the crew yeah. get over there see what it's all about I guarantee you won't be disappointed and you know don't gig us too much this was unscientific remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I did not use any of my nursing nope. uh, things that I've learned for a scientific study it definitely was us totally winging it and for the record, it is 5.05 .05 on Friday, and we are wrapping this thing up to get it out to you tomorrow. Yeah, this is, I think, the latest <laughs> in a very long time that the video was not up and ready to go. So pray our Wi-Fi does not let me down, and I have this ready for you by 10 a.m. Saturday morning. Yeah, and for those of you that have just found us, it's about time. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> and those that have been with us for a while, we appreciate the support, and uh, we can't wait to see you out on the road.